Hi everybody, welcome back and today we are actually going to dye my hair with Overtone Rich Black Conditioner. It's a deep conditioner. Um, it's supposed to deposit color on your hair as you deep condition and I'm actually going to treat this like I do any other hair dye which is why you can see the door is covered. You can't see the towel on the floor but the floor is covered and we're going to actually use a couple of things. So outside of the hair dye you're going to need some gloves. They do supply some, but I have like toddler fingers, so I have to have some short ones. Um, just like a brush or a tangle tease or a comb. I'm using bag bomb, but you can use Vaseline. That's so that um, you can cover your face, your neck, whatever, so that you don't get any staining. And some hair clips, because you're going to have to section your hair off. Now, it does recommend that you start on clean, dry hair. I can't get this out of my hair. So I did shampoo and condition my hair last night and I just put it in these loose twists overnight to let it air dry. Um, I've been active all day so of course it's like super dry now. I've got one more left. And this is what my Japanese straightened hair looks like air dried. Even I don't know what it looks like. Why don't we take a look? Oh that's actually not bad. That's not bad at all. It's sort of messy cute. I might wear it this way one day. I don't know, maybe not. But anyway, I'm starting out with, um, like this is my natural color up here at the very top, at the roots. And then the parts that you see that are like sort of reddish right here, that's where I had box dyed all of this to super black. And when I went to get my last treatment done before this one, it had a very bad reaction. Um, if you don't know the story, just look at my my um, playlist and look for the one that's about Japanese hair straightening and box dyes not being BFFs. Anyway, um, I did manage to pull the color out with honey. So this is how I'm left. And hopefully we're going to cover all this nonsense today. Okay, so real quick before I go. I do want to show you guys what the product looks like. I did get this like a couple months ago. Um, the whole Japanese hair straightening last appointment had to be rescheduled. So I've already opened it. The box does come with its own set of gloves. I did already crack it. Hopefully I don't make too much of a big mess with that. We'll just trash that. But this is what Overtone looks like. It's very thick. It's, it's not going to really drip or go anywhere and it smells like toothpaste. It smells like my grandma's toothpaste. That's such a weird smell, but I kind of, I kind of dig it. Okay. But anyway, we're going to get started. Thing. The last thing I forgot to tell you that you're gonna need is a plastic bag, Walmart bag, somebody's bag to go over your head. And now I'm just gonna let it process. It's supposed to process for I think 20 to 30 minutes. I'll probably leave it on a little bit longer because I do want to get my bathroom and try and get my messy self cleaned up. Um, again, the product is actually not messy. I'm just messy when I apply stuff. So, all right, everybody. So we're back in, and I just um, I left the color in for about the conditioner for about an hour and ten minutes. Enough time to just do what else I needed to do. So this is what it looks like without um, really anything in it, and it's not dry. It's still damp. I actually like it. It's pretty dark. So I'm going to go ahead and put in what I put in to blow dry. Palmer's coconut, can't read it, leave-in conditioner. Just a little bit of that. So where there's a top. And I've been using Shea Moisture Argan Oil um, heat protectant. I'm not going to read that whole thing because it's a novel. 
Hey, you get it. And it doesn't spray anymore, so I just end up having to pour it out. And actually, I think that's about all she wrote. Um, that's gonna have to do it today. And then I normally just go ahead and put my hair milk smoothie, my Palmer's coconut oil in the same mixture. Last but not least, pure 100% cold press neem oil. Three drops. But of course, all my stuff is like empty. So it's gonna be like three struggle drops or whatever we happen to get out of there. Two. And two and a half. Mix that all together and distribute through your hair. I will say that my hair is not as hydrated as it was before I did the color. Um, I was using Olplex number four and five shampoo conditioner. That was my first time using it last night, so it was really, really um hydrating but I wouldn't say that my hair is dry it just doesn't feel the same as it did before I put the color in but it's not bad it's not any different than how it normally feels when I was using the Palmer's um, shampoo condi and conditioner now I generally just go ahead and section it down the middle and comb out one side and then the other it just makes it easier So my hair is blow dried, but I just want to show you guys, um, even when you rinse and you rinse and you rinse and you rinse and your water rinse is clear, you still may not have rinsed just enough. I am a little bit purpley, but eh, it'll wash off. So I'm about to flat iron my hair with my Croc flat iron. I normally do medium, which is 370 degrees Fahrenheit. Takes it about Eh, maybe a minute if if even that to to warm up so while it's doing that I will section my hair and the same four sections that I used before This is the finished color. What do we think? We feeling it? We're not feeling it? Cause I'm feeling it. I like it. It's so pretty. I can't wait to go outside and look at it and I can't wait to see what it looks like in the morning after I've slept on it and it's been wrapped up. fast pros and cons cons it stained my sink and my shower and uh, with a mixture of vinegar and Dawn just soap I was able in a, a green scrub pad I was able to get most of the color out of the tub um, there's a couple spots in the sink that I'll have to work on and I think over time those will come out um, another sort of con um, if you don't rinse well enough and long enough the color will kind of come off on your fingers so even if the water looks clear keep rinsing keep moving just to make sure um, I probably should have rinsed for like at least five more minutes and I probably wouldn't have this small small problem but it'll go away um, next hair washing day so it's not that big a deal um, pros uh, I really like the formula it's 
it was um, really thick. It wasn't messy except for my own messiness because I'm just, I'm just clumsy. Um, it smells great. My hair feels pretty good and pretty hydrated. Now that I've finished and I put on just a little bit of oil, it's really moisturized. It's pretty soft. Um, it was easy to do. And honestly, it didn't cost that much. Um, I'd have to price check it again, but it's been a couple months since I've ordered it, but it was at least around 20 something dollars for eight ounce uh, jar, which is a pretty good price. So I will be buying more of it to keep up the color. So I'll see in a couple of washes how it's going to fade, how it's gonna last, what it's gonna look like when I go out in the sun, um, things of that nature. But um, as of right now, this is, this is the best hair color, deep conditioner, whatever you want to classify it as that I've ever put into my hair, ever. And I've used a lot of stuff over the years. So, um, it would be nice if they would have out like a, maybe a blue black, then I would definitely try that out. But as of right now, this one is extremely dark and that's usually what I go for. So, I like it. So if you guys like this little tutorial, on overtone rich black deep conditioner please give me a thumbs up and like um and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one Bye. hair flip <laughs> i don't have a thumbnail <laughs>